Hello everyone, and welcome to Fun To Be Free. Today's journey brings us to Disney's Hollywood Studios, to be on the move, over to the International Gateway at Epcot, coming up next. Hey Explorers, John with Fun To Be Free, inviting you to follow me as we discover fun together. Let's go. We're here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. This is where we're gonna start our excursion and we're gonna end up at the International Gateway at Epcot where we'll take a peek at some merchandise offerings at the World Traveler gift shop Follow me. If you're staying in the Epcot Resort area on Crescent Lake, then there's a few methods you could utilize to get back to your resort hotel. More on that in a moment. But first, we have to walk through the security gate exit and make a left and head over to the boat launch. The friendship boats are our first option to get back to your resort hotel. Sometimes at park close, this line could get quite long around the corner to the left down by the flagpoles. The friendship boats offer transportation to the Swan, Dolphin, and Swan Reserve hotels, along with the Yacht Club, Beach Club, and Boardwalk Resorts. It also goes to the Epcot International Gateway. For reference, boats depart every 20 minutes or until one hour after park closes. The friendship boats generally take about a half hour to travel all the way to the International Gateway at Epcot. Now let's reverse our direction and head back down this pathway here. Off in the distance, there goes the friendship boat. But if we look just across the waterway, we could take to the sky in the gondolas. Let's go over there. Over to the right hand side is the security gate again. But we're going to continue over to the left hand side. We've arrived at the Disney Skyliner. The second option we have is the Disney Skyliner. It generally takes about 20 minutes to travel over to the International Gateway at Epcot. The Disney Skyliner is now boarding to Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort but transfers to Disney's Art of Animation, Pop Century, and Riviera Resorts, and eventually the International Gateway at Epcot. Just for reference, here are today's operating hours. Let's continue heading down this walkway and around the corner to the left-hand side.
located directly below this tower is the Walt Disney World Bus Transportation Directory. Let's check that out. Listed are all the destination gates for the Walt Disney World Resorts. There's the Disney Skyliner again. And over to the right hand side are some restrooms. Let's head over there. Before we do, let's take a quick look at the various destination gates that go to the Walt Disney World Resort hotels. Option number three is a 1.1 mile walk or 22 minutes from Disney's Hollywood Studios over to the International Gateway at Epcot. Let's go there now. Up ahead is the walkway to Epcot. We've made it to the East Buena Vista Drive overpass. On the other side of the tributary is a walkway that takes you over to the Walt Disney World Swan, Dolphin, and Swan Reserve hotels. And if we look just over to our left hand side, there's the overpass that we just walked under. Up ahead is the Disney Skyliner turning station. And just over here to the right hand side is a pathway that goes up to the overpass. Let's take a quick look. We just have to make a quick right. Down below is the waterway where the friendship boats travel. And up ahead is the Walt Disney World Swan, Dolphin, and Swan Reserve Resorts. Now let's reverse our direction and continue our tour. We're now back on ground level. And there goes a friendship boat now. Located on the right-hand side of the pathway is a tennis court that belongs to Disney's Boardwalk Resort. We've come up to the Disney Vacation Club Boardwalk Community Hall. The large white structure is the Keister Coaster. Remember that, we'll be coming back in just a few moments. We're gonna continue walking down this pathway. We've come up to Croquet Court, used for special events. This walkway also leads to the bridge that'll take you over to the Walt Disney World Swan, Dolphin, and Swan Reserve Hotels. But we're gonna head over to our right-hand side. Disney's Boardwalk. We've arrived at the actual wooden boardwalk on Crescent Lake. But now let's go back to the Keister Coaster. There's the Keister Coaster again, 
and down here to the right hand side is a walkway that serves as a shortcut over to Disney's Boardwalk Resort Lobby. Let's go there. Here's the Luna Park pool with the water slide off in the distance. We're gonna follow this corridor here, like the sign says, to the boardwalk. Up above is the Disney's Boardwalk Resort Lobby. And just down below is the Village Green. The walking distance from Disney's Hollywood Studios to the Boardwalk Lobby is approximately 8 tenths of a mile or 15 minutes. It's not too bad. We've arrived at the actual wooden boardwalk on Crescent Lake with Disney's Yacht and Beach Club Resorts off in the distance. And over to the right hand side is the Friendship Boat Launch. If you are staying at this resort, this is the boat stop that you get off on. The Promenade Pier. Bon voyage! You could even rent a Surrey bike here. Up ahead is a table service dining experience. The Flying Fish. Let's go take a closer look. Let's take a look at the menu offerings. Flying Fish offers entrees like a verlasso salmon, a filet mignon, seafood pearl pasta, char crusted New York strip, plancha seared scallops, potato wrapped red snapper, organic chicken, and roasted tofu. We might be a little premature today since the app shows the first seating at 3 o'clock p.m. Maybe next time we'll check it out. Now let's continue walking down the boardwalk over to another special events area at this resort. You could even put yourself in the picture at the Novelty Photos booth. We've come up to Seabreeze Point, used for special events. We're going to continue walking down this pathway, up and over the bridge up ahead, and over to the right hand side. We're standing on the bridge now. Down below is where the friendship boats travel. We've arrived. Up ahead is the Disney Skyliner. Over to the right hand side is the International Gateway at Epcot. And over by the waterway is the Friendship Boat Launch. This building here contains restrooms, guest relations, and you can speak with a vacation planner to purchase tickets. 
We've made it to the International Gateway. Let's go through the touch points. Over in this area here, you could pick up some guide maps, store some items in a locker, or pick up a festival passport. Just inside the gate is the World Traveler gift shop. Let's go inside and take a look and see what they have to offer. They have ear headbands, sweatshirts, t-shirts, and even toys. You could purchase beverages or even satisfy your sweet tooth. Behind the registers are some nice handbags. And over on this wall, they have even more sweatshirts in your headbands. They even have a 50th anniversary merchandise truck. Now let's head out the exit. Just outside the door of World Traveler is a register where you can rent strollers and wheelchairs. Now it's time for an Epcot Center flashback. Here we are, just inside the International Gateway at Epcot, but sadly, our journeys come to an end. With that being said, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, follow me on Instagram and Patreon. Until next time, see you later, explorers.